G'day everyone, we're in Outback Australia, if you haven't already told that from the uh, bullet riddled sign behind me uh, and the cows grazing in the distance. Uh, we're on a recce for a big music video we're shooting next week and as I, you might have seen in some of the previous videos, yesterday FedEx dropped off the red Komodo Stormtrooper and as you can see I've already gacked the crap out of it. Um, now before everybody freaks out and says, man it's a, it's a storm, it's a Komodo, it's supposed to be a really small camera man, you put all this crap all over it. I know, I know, I know it might seem like it's not cool but this is just kind of a thought experiment. It's been a six hour drive, I had to do something. Uh, and I guess I'm trying to figure out with this camera, which by the way, I'm pretty much in love with already. What do you have to do to be able to mount the things you're used to using uh, for shooting with? So things like a transmitter, obviously a monitor. Um, what if you want to shoot with manual lenses and you need digital focus control? Say you want to put it on a gimbal or, or a remote crane or something and you need that, that wireless lens control and vision. What are the things that are going to have to go on it both from a power point of view and a mounting point of view? So I thought it was a good chance while we're standing in front of this photogenic sign to give you a quick rundown on how I've kind of approached that. The, the core of the whole rig for this is this black ring here is from the guys at Ignite Digi, proud Australian company down in Tassie. Um, if you've, uh, you would have come across them if you're a gimbal person, they're basically the premier pimp my gimbal company. Um, and they've come up with this thing they call the Keystone. So it's this um, milled aluminium ring that goes the whole way around the Komodo symmetrically. So it's pretty much perfectly the same in every direction. So say you wanted to shoot some social media content in 916, you could just turn the camera sideways, put a mounting plate under there and you're ready to go. Um, and it's got some really cool little features in the way they've thought about the mounting. So you've got, um, I've got here what they call the pro rod adapter, pro gimbal rod adapter. It's important to notice this isn't at your standard kind of 15 mil, there's a car coming and there it goes this isn't at your standard uh, 15 mil lightweight spacing and that's a good thing because the Komodo is such a small camera people are going to find pretty early on that lenses with a large diameter are going to be quite difficult to rig the camera is so it's only four so four inch by four inch cube with a normal rod position I wouldn't have ever been able to get this motor on there so the fact that the Ignite Digi guys have got this pro spacing which is still 15 mil rails they're just further apart meant that the rail was far enough out that the RT motion uh, motor could get on there um, so just to take you around some of the other bits I've got the MDR for the RT motion latitude there um, and that's connected to a finger wheel over here so you can see there I can easily pull focus on what otherwise would be quite a a, a long barrel turn. Um, I've got the Teradek Bolt 500 on the top there so I can send it to the live streams we're doing or have it send it to a client monitor. I like the little Bolt 500 receiver I've got which is an, a, an integrated monitor. Um, at the back here I've got a wooden camera pro plate. Now the cool thing about this is it's got some higher end fuse protection than you, that you would normally get with a battery plate. It also gives me three D-taps um, which I'm using all three at the moment. Uh, to power the transmitter, the focus control, um, and the camera itself. Now the camera ca the camera power is this nice little braided cable here, which is again from the guys down in Tasmania at Ignite Digi. Um, I really like this. The, the one that comes with the RED is f one of RED's new um, Limo connections, or it's, a, it's sort of a, uh, a, a different company than Limo that's doing them for them now. And it's a usual high quality cable. The only problem is it sticks straight out and it sticks out quite a ways. So if you're trying to do little snug mounts with this in hard to reach places, having a right angle connector like this is I think super handy. So the, the Ignite Digi guys make this one, powers off a D-tap. Um, I'm using the SDI out to run to the Teradek and then looping out of that into an Atomos Ninja 5. Um, the cool thing about that is it gives me the ability to shoot R3D in the Komodo and then shoot and then record ProRes as an option here if you needed that for quick turnaround or just because you, I don't know, wanted some extra file format options or you'll need to hand something, hand something off quickly to a client. Um, that's useful. I'm, to get all of this GAC on the camera sort of neatly, I'm using NATO rails, which is one of my favorite ways of mounting um, devices. I hate magic arms. I think they're good as a paperweight or a, or a projectile to throw at people you don't like. Um, the NATO rail, there's a nice little small rig monitor mount here that I really like that gives you a little bit of tilt control. Um, there's a little vintage red NATO accessory mount there that's holding the battery plate on. Uh, and then this handle on the side, that's a small rig handle that goes straight on a NATO rail and then gives you another NATO rail to mount more accessories to, which is handy. I've got a little Teradek, sorry, a little wooden camera 
V-lock accessory mount here. That gives me the ability to just pop that Teradek transmitter on and off quite quickly, so that's a nice feature. Um, and what else have we got? I mean, at the moment I'm powering the Ninja 5 off its own battery. Obviously, to be not, I've got at home, I didn't bring it with me, I've got a little blank plate to detap that you could use to power that. The last thing I wanted to show you, which is part of this keystone that the guys at Ignite Digi made, is it's got this cool little Limo breakout here. So you'd actually be able to go detap out of your battery into the first port, and then you'd have three Limo breakouts to power all your accessories. I actually, at the moment, don't have a whole lot of two pin to two pin Limo cables, so I haven't gone for that option. Big truck coming through, big truck coming through. Hey mate, how you doing? So that'd be a nice clean way because pretty much all the accessories are already two pin limo. Um, you know, the, the Latitude and the Teradek both take two pin limo. So that's a nice secure um, connector for powering things, especially if you can get your right angle made up in the right direction. Um, and that's about it. So yeah, look, th there's a lot of gack on there, but I was just sort of trying to think through what I would need for the higher end kind of cinema applications. I tell you what, when you first pull this thing out of the box, all you want to do is shove a Canon L-series lens on it uh, and just the, the straight up Canon battery plates here and just run out and shoot with the thing in your hand. It's just a beautiful little thing to, to work with. So there'll be a lot of people who do that, but there's always, every, everyone needs a different solution for a different um, application. So, you know, I'm just, I guess I'm just trying to think through how these things are going to be used in the future. Mounting the battery up here is less than desirable, but the accessories that companies are making for the Komodo aren't really out yet. So I've sort of had to use what I had um, at the moment to, to pull this off. Wooden camera has a really nice plate that they're about to release that actually slides into one of these Canon battery slots, leaves the other one open so you can actually keep a Canon battery on there for hot swap purposes. And then your V-Lock sits here on a very similar slide plate. This is actually a wooden camera battery slide plate. So it's something like this, but that clicks into here. There's another one from Tilter where the battery goes sideways, which I'm not as keen about, but it's got a few, you know, D-taps and Limos on it as well, which is handy. So there's more and more accessories that are gonna come out every day. This is super early days, it's a beta camera, but it's fun to play around with it and I'm loving it so far. I think the possibilities are endless. I'll, I'll do another little video soon where we put it on the Crane 3S, maybe even with an Ongino EZ lens because I'm a wanker, so why not? Let's do that. Um, and yeah, I'd keep, keep your eyes out for more of these little Komodo diaries while we're on the road. Uh, we've got another six hour drive to get home, so no doubt we'll keep nerding around with it then. And otherwise, catch you soon. Cheers.